Happy New Year. Hope you're all well. I missed you. We're gonna jump right in to 2023 with a very classic video, Shop Your Closet. I haven't done one of these in a while. I've got three looks that I've chosen. They use a lot of wardrobe basics and you know, what would be termed as wardrobe essentials, like very basic pieces. And I think this is good because it's winter. It's very uninspiring to get dressed, but it's those basic pieces that I find pull me through. So I'm gonna shop my closet using elements of style, things like how color is used, texture, layer, you know, shape, silhouette, form, all that stuff. Doing this, breaking out looks and fashion into elements of style makes it a lot easier to get creative with what you already have and shop your closet. If you're new, hopefully you like this method. I've been doing it for years. And if it's something that you're used to and you wanna kind of get deeper into, or if you just don't know where to start, I do some live workshops. I would love, love for you to join us. We have two guests and we shop their closets. So it's really interactive. You get to see what this method looks like on different bodies and with different styles. I'll leave all the info for that in the description box below. Good to be back. Let's jump on into these looks. Okay, this first look is brought to us by Claire Most. Love her, love her style. This is a really interesting one. Probably not 100% perfect for my climate. I can't wear sneakers right now, but I'm gonna adapt it. Using the elements of style, there's a couple things going on. First, just the overall vibe. Like what's the energy? What's the mood of this whole look? I think it's really, God, it's cool. I think you have to be cool to pull this off. I am not that cool, but like, we're gonna try. I I think there's just this like really great sort of city ready feeling. It looks really functional. It looks comfortable, cozy. The other theme or element that really stands out to me here is the texture play, like the faux shearling, or maybe it's real shearling, the suede, the roughness of the denim. I also love this combining of styles. Like she's got a chunky sneaker. So we've got like this athletic thing happening, the shearling, which is almost like sort of a vintagey throwback and then a really dainty little like bag. Feels really intentional. I also love the color coordination, like this use of a tonal palette everywhere else except for the denim. So the browns, the creams, even like the brown in her glasses is like absolutely beautiful. And then the silhouette, everything from top to bottom has a little bit of slouch, just a little bit of give, which I really like. It's comfortable, it's roomy. And then it's all kind of juxtaposed a little bit with that little structure in the bag. So it still feels polished and the structure in her glasses is doing that as well. Here's what I've started with. Baggy jeans. Mine are more wide leg. Hers are more like a retro kind of straight baggy. I'm going to throw on these boots. How's this looking? Wow. Like I knew this would work in theory, like the big shoe to balance out the wide leg. I didn't think it was really like my look. Not horrible. The only thing that I can think of for a coat is this faux fur one. This is vintage. It's a little bit less utilitarian. I love the colors. Like the colors in that photo are really what attracts me that whole palette. Oof, this is a lot, but I don't mind it at all, actually. She's got her hair up in a bun, so I put my hair up in a bun, but I don't think that's a good idea. And because if I'm being realistic, my climate just doesn't work with ears not being covered. So cream will work with the boots, will work with this. So no, it's not like a shearling coat like hers, but I'm still getting the interesting mix of silhouette. I'm still getting a little bit of that contrast by using this turtleneck underneath. OMG, I actually love this. Why am I so shocked? It's all my own clothes, of course I do. And then I'm gonna add this bag. What do you think? I am very impressed with us right now. Like, wow, times 100. I'm sorry. The first thing that comes to mind is to throw on my aviators because they're a little bit of that like retro kind of vibe. And I also like how they maintain this kind of brown color palette. The other option is a different frame shape, less retro, a little bit more classic, but we're still getting the brown. You see how the sunglasses make such a huge difference? But now that I see these on, like they're fine, but the other ones are 100% better. Here we go. This is so much better. Okay, 
Next up is Sarah Kim. I love this look. I mean, I've done this before. I've put a turtleneck under a button up, but what I haven't done is paired it with like another pair of black pants. So you've got this kind of monochromatic base with a really high contrast top. I've always just done this with denim. So I'm really excited to try this out. Layering is a huge one, but I mean, it's kind of obvious, but what makes it even more intentional feeling is the way she's unbuttoned her shirt down to her belt. So typically, you know, you could throw on any button up shirt or any cardigan or whatever over a turtleneck, but it doesn't always feel intentional. Like I think that's why these little styling tweaks like buttoning and tucking and cuffing, all of those are what make the look feel more intentional. This is a really minimal look. If we're just looking in terms of like the vibe or the overall energy, it's really minimal, classic, clean. I also want to say polished. Other elements are the accessories are really minimal. There's not a lot of metallic, not a lot of shine. She's not really using any jewelry. I feel like the belt is kind of the focal point here in terms of accessories and she's really using it for that because it's it's literally the only hardware that she's got going on. But to be continued, she adds a really great long trench and a bag. So keeping it all in the black. So this is obviously like a really tonal outfit. What I also love when we see the bag, the bag is really slouchy and it's a really great contrast to the stiffness of the rest of the outfit. Even the trench, the button up, even the trousers. These silhouettes are very sleek, very structured, very minimal, but the bag gives this whole look a little bit of softness, which I really like. Okay, here is my base for this look. Easy, a trouser with a slim fit turtleneck. This is like the easiest base. Yours doesn't have to be black. You don't even have to have like a boot cut silhouette. It's about the contrast. Button up. Okay, I require a belt. I'm gonna start with black. Hers is black, but if you want more waist definition, maybe you go with something that is a different color. Boots. I think you could go with anything here. If you've got a black booty, go with a little black booty. I have two options for coats. I can do this. This is okay, but I feel like it's lacking personality. I'm gonna try this. More tailored, a little bit more length. This also kind of nails the vibe a little bit more. It feels a little bit more me. She's got that big tote, so I'll just use my convertible backpack. No, it's not the same. Yes, mine is a little bit more ooh, functional and utilitarian. Got a little bit more hardware. I would probably wear it as a shoulder bag, but I think this is fine. This last look, Ami Song. I just, I love this look because it's a skirt. I also love leg warmers. I wear them running in the winter, but I don't know that I would ever actually wear them like in real life. But something about this look made me really happy. Could also be the fact that I'm trying to actively wear skirts more in the winter. Let's just break it down to start. Number one, I don't even know. How do you describe this? How? It's amazing. I don't want to say cool again because I've overused that word. It, it's just fantastic. I don't know how to describe this. Perhaps it's just so individual to her. I'm gonna say a little bit eclectic or maybe a little bit quirky it feels, you know? The fisherman sweater and the, the cozy knit. Like there's definitely this element of comfort, cozy. If we look at the silhouette and the shapes and the proportions happening here, that I think is what is really making this look shine. So we've got this micro mini fitted tight to the body, completely completely juxtaposed by this oversized fisherman sweater. And then it's elongated because the leg is bare and the leg warmers, they're not like a dark color. If that had been a darker leg warmer, we would have had a little bit more contrast. It would have shortened her leg, but the lighter leg warmer is giving us that elongating effect. And we're really appreciating the lengthening of the mini skirt. Also an interesting contrast with this like ball cap and you know, we've got sporty and then with the leg warmers and the the ball cap, we have a little bit of sporty, but then we have this East Coast collegiate Ivy League thing happening with the cl very classic fisherman sweater and a loafer. It's gonna be a challenge. Okay, Ami Song, <laughs> you're up. 
Here's my little skirt. It's the mini, it's a lot more A-line, so it's a lot less edgy and a lot more preppy. Instinctively, I paired it with my fisherman sweater, but I'm gonna switch this out because my fisherman sweater is not as oversized. So with the combination of my skirt being a little bit more preppy, even if I put like the most casual footwear, which hang on, I'm gonna use like my big chunky boots, which make more sense for my climate, but they're also still giving me that like oversized proportion, like bulky drama. Plus I've got it contrasted with a pair of black tights. I think we're still getting a lot of that like elongating effect. We're getting that proportion play just in a completely different way. However, even with these shoes, I almost feel like this is too confused. Like the elements are all preppy. And then I decided to throw on a pair of boots because the weather's really cold outside. Like it doesn't feel as intentional. So I'm gonna swap out this for something that may lose the texture, but will give me that oversized proportion and also the element of the, like the different style vibes that I really wanna nail. Okay, so here we go. This is making a lot more sense now. Like the boots feel more intentional. This feels more like a, okay, she's going out in winter and she's trying to look cute. It's not like, okay, she dressed her top half and she has to wear these boots because she's going out in the snow. Ami's got her sweater a little bit tucked in for some definition. She doesn't have a coat. She has a hat, cute little ball cap. So I've got my toque. I wonder if I should do a black toque. I think this one's good because it's got that kind of cocoon shape. This is good actually. I like the cocoon. Let's finish this off with some sunnies and there we go. That is what I have for you today. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you thought these looks were a hit or a miss in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or if you learned something new, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget I have those tickets to my live Shop Your Closet workshop. It is virtual so you can join from anywhere in the world. I hope to see you there. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so, so much for being here and I will be back with another slow fashion video. Ciao.